Well, this is it's Alan from the Electric Beetle, and um, the rear battery box is already in. And again, I didn't have the camera to show you guys what to do, but I can go over the steps. What we did is we cut out the floorboard. Um, always start small. Don't try to uh, cut it all out once because uh, you want to make sure your measurements are good. This happened to be 32 and a quarter by 25. Um, there was difficulty because there's a um, wheel well and it drops down and you can't see it. Let's see if I can squeeze that in there. I'm not sure if, that, if you can see anything there. I'll check later on the video. But then what I noticed is this battery box had a smaller lip than I would have liked. It only had a lip halfway. So what I did is I riveted a 3 inch all the way around 3 inches. And this way I had a lot more um, space, room to rivet. And uh, just a suggestion, if you're going to build these battery boxes, give yourself a lot of, fl a lot of flange on that all around. Uh, this way you don't have to be so exact. What we're going to do is I'm going to, uh, underneath in the spaces, I'm going to use uh, that great stuff, that foam, the expandable foam. I'll use that and um, then I'll probably get some undercoating. Um, it is aluminum so it's not, not too much could happen with that but you know you want to prevent the road crap, the salts from eating it so uh, we'll seal that up. Um, there's an Alexon top that'll go on top of that. Um, a couple of the guys use uh, Velcro strips that's nice also. Uh, I did have to cut the plastic uh, interior pieces. You can see the tape is still there from where I uh, coated it so it could fit underneath, give it a nice finish. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the piece back on here. I might leave that bare metal. Uh, I'm going to have to cut through and put a, um, this is the, where the gas tap, tap is. I have this connection connecting. Uh, I don't have a J1772 yet. Uh, I could always change it, but uh, this way I'm going to have it for this, and then I'm going to have a connection this coming through, and I'm going to have a little outlet box that this will plug into. So the charger, I'm not going to take the regular 120 outlet off the charger. So uh, in case I'm ever stranded, I could always just plug it into a regular 120 volt. Uh, I know there was a, uh, a situation at the uh, first uh, EV convention where a guy had a J1772 and that's the only place he could charge up and of course the hotel didn't have that so he was a little stuck. So uh, there's the battery box. Um, I'll try to keep these videos coming. It's Alan from Electric Bug.